so Imrith, on Monday, the UK entered a heat wave. Uh, this had huge knock-on effects for the energy industry. The system was under loads of stress. Uh, there were two capacity market notices issued in July. It was really is, hot. Yeah, which is crazy. It was really, really <laughs> hot. Um, anything else that we need to know about? Yeah, so in um, wholesale markets, there was quite a lucrative spread available. So the evening, day ahead market cleared at around £650 per megawatt hour, which left a £500 spread available to assets if they were willing to trade in wholesale markets, which is pretty crazy considering we're in July. Cool. Um, um, so did any batteries actually manage to take advantage of these spreads? Yeah, so if we look at this graph, we can see that there's very typical charge and discharge operations going on. And this is looking at 26 balanced BM registered assets yeah. across the day on Monday. So we can see assets charging up in the morning when prices are low and then discharging during that evening peak when prices are high. I think one of the big points on this graph is we can see that frequency response participation doesn't really drop that much, which okay. suggests that most people actually didn't really trade the spread that was available on that day. And this is how that has translated to the revenues for the day. So we can see Contego and Holmes Bay sitting at the top with yeah. the highest revenues, and then Red Scar, and then we have all the other assets. And I think that the main thing to see on this graph is the very little amount of green across all the other assets sitting at the lower end of the leaderboard, which goes back to that first point I mentioned that most assets were providing frequency response services on the day as opposed to trading in the wholesale markets. Yeah, and it makes sense that those three assets at the top right were able to take advantage because they are longer duration, right? Contego and Holes Bay are two hours and Red Scar is a 90 minute system. Yeah, and we're really the reason Contego and Holes Bay were able to benefit from the huge prices that are available in wholesale markets was because of their operation on the day. So they did something very similar to what they were doing last month, which is providing the high frequency dynamic regulation service. Yeah. And then using that to get paid an availability, availability fee to charge up and then continually discharging in wholesale markets. So they're basically stacking their revenues in two markets at once. Cool, looks good. Which is really cool. Um, so and what, then, what's this? This, is, this looks a bit crazier. Yeah, so at first glance, this is, so this is Red Scar. 